My husband and I started playing with an underwater camera three or four years ago. It was a revelation for me to see how things looked under the surface of the ocean. It reminded me that we all seem to guess at what lies under surfaces, but we never really know until we take an in-depth look. My own mental health was in poor shape over a couple of years recently, and it was not until I came to the conclusion that I needed help and started seeing a counselor that this idea of not being able to see beyond what we are allowed to see came to me. Mental health is related to so many facets of our lives, how we interact on social media, with our friends and families, and with our inner selves. Which examples are the sunny reflections, and which are the deep, dark, cool depths? It is so exciting to see what is under the surface. There we find meaningful relationships, understanding, and all the shiny fishes. Few times we've noticed schools of fish swimming around in the cove just here outside the studio, visibly changing the texture of the water surface as they swim along. We filmed them, but couldn't get a really clear picture. A visiting fisherman uh, around the same time called them smudge herring. When I looked up the term, I realized that this would come from our English ancestry, with the word smudge having origins in the curing of herring by smoke. Funny that they would be called smudge herring before they're smoked. Wonder if that's a more recent adaptation of the term. As a part of my underneath series of works, these smudge herring images are really feeling great to make right now. I'm in the midst of a very happy time in my life, and I'm full of creative energy. I want to just keep on swimming while the creative juices are flowing. I've never really understood what makes me want to create any particular piece of art in any particular time frame, but it's certainly a common theme among artists. This two foot by eight foot painting is number 10 in a series of much smaller pieces of smudge herring imagery. I've been using up all sizes of painting matrixes available to me in my studio. We walked in hope down these ancient alleys. Ranging from four by four inches to this half sheet of plywood, which had to be specially cut to fulfill my request when the size and shape popped into my head. Our love was one red room, sweet girl. When suddenly around us was this world. And now that number 10 is finished, I'm moving on to the next smudge herring pieces. I'll keep painting more, as well as other underwater imagery that I am thinking of. Flatfish, capelin, and jellyfish. Keep on swimming. 